I'm so tap tap, and I really need to do these weekly update things a little bit more consistently. Um, I meant to do one, but then this thing came out, so... Um, for Mysterium fans, yes, there is an event out now, and there will be a video guide, um, probably published right before or during the time that I post this. Um, Flero Games bought out the game. Um, they're planning... I don't know how true this is, but I heard they're planning an Abyssrium, two games in the Abyssrium series, question um, mark? One called Abyssrium 2, yes, Peggle 2, um, and um, Abyssrium Social. Now, we're not really entirely sure what that really means yet, so I won't theorize too much, but the, the, it seems to be in better hands because people are actually getting responses on Facebook and stuff. So they seem to care about the game, unlike Cheetah Mobile, so that's definitely a plus. Um, aside from Abyssrium news, um, Pokemon Masters has kind of been disappointing. I can just open it for you. It's The new events and stuff have kind of... <laughs> they suck, frankly. Uh, the post-game is really bad. Um, the problem with Pokemon Masters is that all the end-game content... Um, so Pokemon, people... People that want Pokemon to leave its turn-based combat system, what they don't realize, um, Pokemon has the deepest uh, turn-based competitive combat system. There's really absolutely nothing like it anywhere else. Um, it has so many layers of strategy, it has so many viable Pokemon, it has abilities that complicate things, it has status moves, and status moves actually work, unlike almost every other RPG system out there. You can actually use status moves on a really strong Pokemon, and they freaking work, and they're amazing. And... Status moves play a big part in pretty much any competitive match. Um, so, what Pokémon Masters did Welcome. is it created this endgame content um, called EX Challenges. And guess what? Um, in very hard EX Challenges, enemy stats cannot be lowered. Enemies are immune to every single status effect. Enemies ignore hail and sandstorm, etc. Um, enemies ignore basically all effects except for pure damage. And the enemies always get critical hits, almost. Um, which it happens to ignore buffs on your team. Um, and also enemies clear buffs on your team every few turns, but you can't remove their buffs. Um, so every single race, every single match is a pure DPS race and it's super stupid. And there's entire, like, reams of Pokémon that are just completely useless. Cryogonal is in this game. Uh, he's got... It's got Haze that clears enemy debuff, or enemy buffs doesn't work. Does not work at all. Um, completely useless Pokémon because endgame content just says no. I'm not gonna let you use that Pokémon. So, the reason that people play Pokémon that like the gameplay, it's not, it's not here. And it's so weird because there's actually this whole team. There's this whole type of, um, there's this whole type of Pokémon called tech types that um, specialize in status moves and stuff. All of these characters, except for Will, they're all useless. Will is useful because he copies enemy buffs and he does more damage the more buffs he has. Um, he's so far the only one that's genuinely good to use against the EX t teams. And that's almost like a fluke. I wonder if they did that completely on accident and had no idea that would happen. I, I wouldn't be surprised at all if they somehow managed to nerf him. But yeah, the events have had really terrible... Um, the rewards have been really cheap. The blue one gives you three five-star power-ups, which I was expecting two three-star power-ups, really. But only three is pretty bleh. Um, the Blaine one, this Rock-type training event thing, it's... These, are, these rewards are terrible. I'm, like, other than the coins, I don't even really want to bother exchanging them. I'll get those coins, but yeah. And also, people... Maybe I just oops. Aw, that's not what I wanted. Um, maybe I've just been matched up with bad people or like had bad luck or something, but oh, all of the teams I've tried to play online with in that map battle have been terrible. So I <laughs> I'm really disappointed in Pokemon Masters. So Yeah, where do I have there it's tap tap fish. So it's kind of an unfortunate disappointment, but not entirely unexpected either. Gashapon games are usually bad. You, you assume a Gashapon game is going to be bad, not that it's going to be good. Um, what else do we got? Borderlands 3 comes out Friday. I'm taking Friday and Monday off my job so I can uh, 
not entirely for Borderlands 3, but mostly Borderlands 3, at least for Friday. Um, so I'll need to find some people to start that up with. I'm not sure who I'll, I'm not sure who my inaugural team of four is going to be. But if you're um, if you're a mutual follower on Twitter or we know each other in the Discord and stuff, and you're going to be playing around launch, uh, hit me up, I guess, and I'll I'll have to see who I'm going to play with. Um, no arguments about Epic Game Store, please. Everyone has heard all of those arguments. No one cares. Um, so, really excited for Borderlands 3. I think it's going to be awesome. There's a lot of stuff I'm looking forward to. Um, I don't know if I'll stream it or not. I think I kind of want to just chill and enjoy it. But maybe I'll stream some of it. Just some random bits. Or maybe I'll stream my first thing. I don't know. Uh, it depends if the people that I start up my first game with uh, want, want me to, like, to stream or not. Um, what else? I have some uploads, I have some... I have a bunch of, uh, stuff from Twitch I need to edit and upload to YouTube. I'm a little bit behind on that, but... You'll be seeing that before too long. Um, Grow Games. I have- there's a couple Grow Games I need to check out. Um, Grow Thanks, I've been meaning to- I meant to do that for a while. Um, there's a secret ending that I missed in Grow Clay, I believe? And there's a whole game mode, I guess, that Grow Cube had that I didn't know was a thing. So I'll need to check those out. Um, hopefully soon this week. And they got some other random Ichio stuff that should be really cool. Hope to check that out soon. Uh, River City Girls, tomorrow. I'm streaming River City Girls on twitch.tv slash tap tap. Um, that should be really cool. I was really hoping to play that online co-op, but turns out it doesn't have online co-op. So, oops. Oh well. <laughs> but, uh, take what you can get. I've almost gotten back into Dwarf Fortress, but I'm not sure if I should. I've been reading the wiki and, like, poking around, um, watching a streamer, like, some old videos of their fort. Um, I might stream Dwarf Fortress if I get back into it, but, uh, I've got a lot to do right now. Also, Gun Gun Pixies I need to, I need to check out and maybe stream at some point around here. That's, uh, coming out on Switch. I think it is out on Switch now. It's, it was coming out, and then, and then it came out. Funny how that works. Um, I meant to cover it like a round or before launch, but no, that that never happens for me. Always so busy, but whatever. So looking forward to that uh, long weekend. Should be plenty of videos up on YouTube as well. So hopefully you enjoy those. Hope to see everybody at the um, River City Girls stream. That's a really that's a really cute uh, beat 'em up. It's made by Way Forward. They always do really good stuff. Great pixel art, great music, great gameplay. Just. Nothing to dislike about him, really. So, uh, even if you're not familiar with WayForward or River City, Ransom and stuff, uh, check that out. Anyway, bonjour. Oh, wait, is that good? No, that's hello. Is it like Cheerio, where it's like goodbye and hello? I don't know. G goodbye is what I mean to say. Goodbye. 